Assalamualaikum. Hi guys. So for our assignment, uh, we have choose Surau Anur as our building to be investigate. But before that, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Muhammad Fakrullah bin Muhammad Fuad. My name is Nadirul Nazim bin Sarudin. I am Muhammad Farizwan bin Zulfikri. My name is Siti Sapura binti William Henry Rally. My name is Na Aiman Sarah binti Samsudin. So firstly, the location of Surau Anur. Surau Anur can be found inside Sultan Abdul Jalil Shah Campus, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, that located in Tanjung Malim Perak. Surau Anur is built uh, is built uh, at the site of this campus near the University Gymnasium and the SKTM building, which make it easy to find. The history of Surau Anur begin in the conjunction with the construction of Sultan Abdul Jalil Shah University Pendidikan Sultan Idris uh, in 1997. During that time, uh, UPSI students are way too less compared to nowadays. And after a while, the residential college was, was moved to the Taman Bahtera known as uh, KH, KZ, KUO and KAB. Since then, uh, Surau Anur has been rarely been used by uh, university students uh, because there is no more prayer call or azan and the congreg congregational prayer activities conducted in this building. However, with the addition of uh, various university facilities and also the construction of the new campus in Proton City, which is campus Sultan Azlan Shah, uh, the, the, the residential college uh, under UPSI management also moves to the new campus. And uh, after that, Surau Anur, uh, in the meantime, Surau Anur has been uh, renovated and beautified for the use of any university residents. Now everyone can use this surau to perform prayers or conducting any uh, religious events such as uh, Yasin recitation, knowledge gathering, any group discussion or meeting for students uh, related to their assignments or associ association student activities. This building was built with area of approximately 672 meters square and with this area it can accommodate approximately 150 people at a time during any event being held. This building was built to provide facilities to university staff, lecturers and students to perform prayers. In addition, Surau Anur also serves students to hold any group discussions or meeting related to the assignments or students' association activities. Religious activities are also often carried out in this building such as religious talk or kuliah and taskira, yasin recitation and tahlil. This building also has basic facilities such as car parking, clean toilet, air conditioners, and as a place to relax. So, from the side view, the rooftop gives us a shape that we know as the prism. This shape is so ideal for making the roof because it has a inclined flat base so that when it's raining it can easily pour to the drain all right so we are in the surah anu building so as we can see here uh, the prayer hall resembles a cuboid shape why it must be a cuboid shape because cuboid has a strongest base structure that can support a bigger rooftop furthermore the cuboid give us the right prism shapes so that the below area and the top area are the same so that we can easily manage to install the fan and the lamp so here we are at the semicircular shape of the building as we can see the shape have an angle of 180 degrees this space is used by Bilal to make an azan or the imam to lead a prayer. So as we can see here, this space is designed 
to make the sound to be reflected and to make it louder. Okay, now let's move on to the geometrical concepts and measurements. For our shape that we chose today, uh, from the Surah An-Nur, we chose the cuboid. From the shape of cuboid, we can find the uh, base area and the volume. So as we can see uh, from this building, uh, the measurement of the height of this building is 11.6 meters. And the width of the building is 40 meters and also the length is 16.8 meters so from that we can find the total of the base area and also the volume from the measurements that i mentioned earlier we can find the total base area so we can find how many people can fit into this prayer hall If we draw the prayer hall, it will look like a cuboid with a measurement like this. From the base area, we can see that it's actually a rectangle. With the height and base length given, we can find in the formula of area which is base time height. From the measurement, we can see that the area of this prayer hall is 672 meters square. Also, from the surface area, you can also find the total volume of this place. It can help to, to design or to place furniture inside this hall. As for the volume, we know that the shape of this prayer hall is a cuboid. We can use the information from the previous calculation which is the base area and times with the height of the prayer hall which we can see that the volume of this prayer hall is 7795.2 meter cube. So as we can see from the backward view of the rooftop it give us a shape that we call as isosceles triangle so why we call it an isosceles triangle so let's find out given the length of the leg is 14 cm and the angle for ABC and ACB are same so by theory if two angles of a triangle are congruent then the sides opposites these angles are congruent so what do we know about an isosceles triangle? First of all, it must have the length of the leg must be equal. And secondly, the corresponding angles of the opposite sides must be congruent or same. My name is Siti Sapura and today I'll be presenting the cross section of Surah Anu building. The first part is the elevation of Surah Anu building. This is the front view of the building. It has four distinct solid shapes which are rectangle, semicircle, square and trapezoid. The place of the prayer both front and back, the wudu station and the toilet are all in rectangular shape because all the angles are right angles. And the opposite sides of each rectangle are parallel. This one parallel to this one. And congruent. Which means if this is length A, this will be length A. This is length B, this will be length B. Next is the roof. The roof of the building is in the shape of trapezoid port. It has exactly two parallel sides. The roof. Yes, this one is parallel to this one. The roof of wooden station and toilet are right trapezoid because each right trapezoid has at least two right angles. This one has two and this one also has two. The shape of the window 
and the extension on the left side of the building are, are the results from the combination of both square and semicircle shapes. If we combine a square and a semicircle, it will produce the given shape. A, a square is a rectangle with two edges and sides. And all the sides are congruent, which means they all have the same length. While semicircle is a one dimension locus of point that forms half of a circle. Okay, next is the plan of Suranu. As we can see, rectangle shapes are mostly used in design in this Suranu building because it has four sides, four corners, each measuring 90 degrees. Each sides are parallel and equal in length to each other. Parallel to each other and equal in length, like I said before. If this is length B, this is length B. If this is length A, this will be length A. An extension on the left side of the building. This one is a one dimensional locus point that forms half of a circle and measures 180 degrees, which means the angles inside is 180 degrees. Next is the cross section from the side of the building. If I cut the building vertically, the two right trapezoid will be produced. This is because both have right angles. This one, both. The windows, however, are in square shape because all the sides and angles are congruent and parallel to each other. All have the same length. Next is the cross section from the side of the building if I cut it horizontally. It will result two geometric shapes, which are the isosceles triangle and the rectangle. Why isosceles triangle? Because because both sides, these sides and these sides are congruent. A rectangle is a parallelogram that has a right angle, interior and exterior, all in right angles. Hence, the rectangle. Next is the cross section from the front of the building. If I cut it vertically, it will produce two sections, which is the left and the right. The cross section results in triangle and rectangle shapes. The rectangle are all different length because they have different length in ceiling height. But they have the same properties. All angles, interior and exterior, all right angles. 90 degrees, same length in diagonals and sides for each rectangle, and they are both quadrilateral. The roof have three sides, three sides, this side, one, two, three, okay, three angles, one, two, three, and three vertices. And the sum of the two sides of the triangle is greater than the third side, which means if I add this side. And this side, it will become greater than the below sides, and vice versa. Sarah Binti Samsudin and I'm going to continue the presentation which is I'm going to do the summary and conclusion. Okay, for the summary, in this study, Surau Anu has been selected as a building to investigate its geometry shape and concept in accordance with what we have learned in the class. Surau Anu is one of the buildings that was located in Sultan Abdul Jalil Shah campus which is from UPSI Tanjamalim Perak. The area of the building is approximately 672 meters square and the main function of this building is for the UPSTI staff and students to perform prayers. There are few different types of geometrical shapes found in Surah Anu building. The first geometrical shape is the prism that can be seen from the shape of the roof of the building. Second, is the cube board where the shape of the cube board is from the form 
Next is isosceles triangle from the side of the roof and the shapes of window and the extension of the left side of the building are the result of the combination of both square and semicircle shapes. The area of this building are approximately 672 meters square while the volume is 7,795.2 meter cubic and approximately 150 people can fit into the hall comfortably to perform their prayer. From the cross sections of Surah on the building, there were various types of geometrical shapes produced. There are four solid geometric shapes found from the front building, which are rectangles, semicircle, square, and trapezoid. While rectangle and semicircle shapes were observed from the plane of the building, Meanwhile, a cross section vertically from the side of the building results two right trapezoid shape and four square shapes, and a cross section horizontally produce two geometrical shapes which are isosceles triangle and rectangle. Last but not least, the cross section from the front building vertically produce triangle and rectangle shapes. In conclusion, geometry has a lot of practical uses from the most basic to the most advanced phenomena in life. The very basic concept of area can be a huge factor in our daily business. For example, in this study, space is one of huge issues in Surah Aino building because students and staff are performing prayer prayers in Surah Aino. For instance, the size of area of specific appliance and tools can be greatly affect how it will fit into Surah Aino and can also affect how the other parts of the building which are wooded stations and toilet fits around. That is why it is essential to take account of area, both of building space and the facilities that we are about to integrate them. In addition, geometry plays a role in a lot of professions such as medicine benefit from geometry imaging, mapping which is essential element in profession such as surveying, navigation and astronomy. From sketching to calculating distance, they use geometry to accomplish their job. As we can see, geometry affects us, even the most basic details in our life. No matter what the form, it helps us understand specific phenomena and it helps us in uplifting the quality of life. That's all from us. Thank you. Salamat.